Keanu Reeves is one of the more recognizable actors of the past several decades, being part of major franchises like The Matrix and John Wick. But if you are in China, it looks like you won't be seeing Keanu Reeves anytime soon because he has been banned. He has been canceled by the Chinese Communist Party because he said something that they don't like. And isn't it interesting how similar the reactions are for a totalitarian, authoritarian communist state like China and the far left echo chamber? Because for both of them, all it takes is one opinion that doesn't align and all of a sudden you're done. China cancels Keanu Reeves over Tibet. Oh man, and I will say at least the, the silver lining that does come from this for the people of China is that they're unable to watch The Matrix Resurrections. That should be the one positive thing that comes out of this because that was one of the worst movies I've seen in a long fucking time. Chinese streaming services banned movies and videos featuring actor Keanu Reeves after he appeared in a virtual event hosted by Tibet House US, a nonprofit organization funded by the leader of Tibetan Buddhism, the Dalai Lama. Reeves' name has also reportedly disappeared from Chinese social media platforms. So he has basically been unpersoned by China. That's how bad it is. And, you know, as kind of maybe laughable as it might seem, like when it comes to Keanu Reeves and his future in acting, I don't think he's going to like not be able to find work or anything. But for some people, this could severely impact them. Say, if someone did a movie, you knew that it couldn't get released in China, that there was no way it would ever get released in China or ever make any money in China. That might impact someone's casting decision. And that's the case right now with Keanu Reeves. China's erasure of Keanu Reeves was discovered on Friday by Reuters, which found that even Reeves' most popular films, blockbusters like The Matrix, Speed, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, and John Wick, have been removed from streaming services like Tencent and Ikeo. I think that's how you say that. Searches for both the English and Chinese versions of Reeves' name produced no results on the popular WeChat messaging platform. The Times discovered Monday that almost all movies featuring Reeves have quietly vanished from the streaming libraries. The incredibly petty Chinese censors decided not to ban Toy Story 4, in which Reeves voices a toy stuntman named Duke Kaboom, but they erased the credits for the English voice cast, naming only the local actors who performed the Chinese dub of the movie. That is... That's pretty serious, I guess. Even going and erasing the credits of this one small voice role. Why all of a sudden they decided to take this measure at this exact moment? It's a question we as outsiders might never be able to answer. The system is so opaque that it's pretty much impossible to pinpoint which agency or person is responsible, says the U.S.-based researcher Alex Yu of China Digital Times. Representatives for the Chinese streamer and social media platforms did not answer questions from Western reporters about the decision to cancel Reeves, who has not been shy about his long-standing interest in Tibetan Buddhism. He started a movie on the subject in 90 and was ordained as a Buddhist monk in the Tibetan Himalayas in 2016. I didn't even know about that. Reeves has gone out of his way to work with the communist censors to ensure his movies could be screened in China. In 2013, he told The Atlantic about removing scenes in underground fighting in Beijing because the censors insisted underground fighting does not exist in Beijing. He also sportingly reduced the number of times people got punched in the head during the film because Chinese censors apparently have limits on things. So he tried to do everything he could to make sure his movies were available in China, but all it takes is one appearance, one digital appearance, like on a Zoom call for a fundraiser, boom, and you're canceled. Just like for the left, all it takes is one, one opinion, one opinion on gender, one opinion like J.K. Rowling's on biology. That's all it takes. One time that you say, well, maybe I don't know about voting for that person. The left will cancel you in a heartbeat. They want you erased. The same things that leftists, that far left activists are doing for people like J.K. Rowling, they want it erased. They want her name erased from the Harry Potter movies. They want the books gone. They want her name gone forever. It's so funny how similar these two entities are. Man of Tai Chi was touted as a milestone in cooperation between Chinese and American production companies. The first film directed by Reeves, and while he appears in it, he plays a sadistic villain. It didn't fare well in the Chinese box office, but they appreciated Reeves making the effort. 
Uh, most outside observers believe the obvious explanation was he was a headline performer of the 35th annual Tibet House U.S. Benefit Concert on March 3rd. He, his contribution to the event was reading a poem co-written by Allen Ginsberg. The Hollywood Reporter described Reeves coming under savage attack in Chinese social media by Chinese nationalists who demanded a retaliatory boycott of Reeves' most recent film, The Matrix Resurrections. Now, here in America, a lot of people said they had wanted nothing to do with this, not because of anything Keanu Reeves had said about Tibet, but because the movie was dog shit. The movie was terrible, and it flopped. It was a complete and total embarrassment. How can Keanu Reeves not understand this and take part in a pro-Tibet independence concert? Aren't these celebrities afraid of losing the China market? The film can be taken down now. Get out of the Chinese market. Thank you. These high school graduates in Hollywood can't even identify where Tibet is on the map, but they care if people there are leading a good life. <laughs> that's pretty interesting. So that's some of the reaction you see. As the Hollywood Reporter impishly noted, The Matrix Resurrections is pretty much boycotted itself, having earned a paltry 12.5 or 12.4 million at the Chinese box office. So the censors evidently decided to aim higher by wiping out Reeves' entire filmography. That is nuts. But that's all it takes. That's all it takes is one opinion, one opinion you hold to get you canceled from China in the same way that one opinion will get you canceled by the woke mob. What do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.